I think like all things, uh, whether anybody likes to admit it or not, are inspirations from somewhere else, memories, places you've eaten. It's very rare that you find a completely new dish that has been created by the creator or said person who has invented it. Everything is taken from somewhere else or an idea or a memory. And for me, this is more um, a representation of the memory uh, that I had of eating tamales growing up. So you have the, the lightness of the masa, the earthiness and like the richness of the duck, the really nice kind of like spiciness of the mole, the crunch of the sesame and the pumpkin. It's really important for me to be sourcing locally I've worked with La Princesita since day one. The first actual tortillas that I was starting to use was La Princesita. They were the first ones that I went to for my corn tortillas. I have used them from my little taco cart to my taco truck, to my first restaurant, to my second restaurant, and now here at Katim. I feel like a long time ago, I threw a pebble of what I was doing and what I was doing on the street and how that influenced other cooks to sit on on their own and they're doing their own thing and they're doing their own pop-ups. And I think that's reverberating back to me and seeing like, holy shit, I'm doing it, now they're doing it, and then I'm doing it again. It's it's almost like a symbiotic relationship with other cooks without even knowing that. I see it coming full circle when I see all these other pop-ups doing things that were kind of influenced by stuff that started off in the arts district. Right now is when you're starting to see all these other restaurants and all the other concepts coming out that wouldn't have been possible without doing the food that we were doing back then. It's great to see like all these new concepts that don't have any real like borders. 